Hey Brick fans, this is Dave from Brick 101, and today I'm going to show you how to build Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. Just a couple things before we get into the build. First, big shout out to Mark Larson, who once again designed this build. You might remember him from designing the Bendy build a few weeks ago. Uh, he's really talented, as evidenced by Knuckles and Bendy, and more to come. Secondly, uh, I got over 270 requests to build Knuckles, so many thanks to all of the commenters who requested Knuckles over the past few years. I'm sure you're very happy that Knuckles has finally arrived. All right, let's see how to build Knuckles. So Knuckles is built to my signature double fig scale, which is about twice the size of a minifigure. And for the Sonic figures, I always start with the body of a minifigure and then build out from there. Nice thing about doing that is the minifigure has lots of articulation built in. So you're gonna wanna try and get a pure red minifigure, except for some white hands. So red torso, red arms, red legs. Um, if you don't have a perfectly red torso, uh, if you've got something printed on it, you can just turn that side towards the back because it'll be mostly covered up anyway. All right, now let's build some shoes. So that's gonna start with a yellow Erling brick, a one by one red plate, red cheese slope, a gray jumper plate, and then a green one by one round. Um, that's kind of the coloring of Knuckles' shoes. Adding those jumpers on gives a little bit of height, which is nice, and also just um, helps them pop a little bit more. Now, uh, this piece I'm using here, a red neck bracket, is pretty rare. Uh, I don't believe it's come in a lot of sets, but I collect neck brackets as much as I can because I love them so much. Uh, but you could use a white one or a light gray one. It'll be mostly covered up. So we're gonna do two of them. Uh, one will go on backwards, the other one will go on forwards. One in the front gets one of these one by one half round tiles in white. That's kind of Knuckles, I don't know if it's a little scarf thing or just part of his torso coloring, but there is a little bit of white there. Then for the back, you're gonna get one of these interesting one by two plates with half a slope on it. You could also do a one by two plate with a cheese slope if you don't have one of these pieces. And then going to do a one by one plate with clip and a tiny red uh, claw tooth piece down at the bottom for his tail. And you can attach it on like so. Now for his giant gloves slash knuckles, gonna start with one of these white one by two plate with handles on the end. On top of that, you're gonna get some of these one by one tooth pieces, build those out. Uh, and then just to give it a little bit more rounding to look more like a fist, I just put one of these one by one round plates with a hole in it uh, onto the end there. And uh, then you can clip one of those onto each hand. Uh, and there are the knuckles. Okay, now we're gonna start building the head. For once, we are not using a Travis brick for the head, which you now some of you will be very happy about. So instead, we're gonna start with a Kevin brick, or one by one headlight brick, then an Erling brick. So this brick can be any color, it's gonna get covered up. This one should be tan. And on the front, we'll do a one by one tan plate and a one by one black round. That's gonna be his nose. And a one by three plate in red on top of that. Red cheese slope, red one by two plate, red one by one, and a cheese slope. Then back here, take a two by three plate, two cheese slopes on the back, a one by two curvy downward slope, with a plate, that goes on the back as well. And then up front here, another curvy downward slope, some one by one plates with clip, both going the same direction. That one, like so, goes on this side, 
And we're going to mirror that on the other side with another curvy downward slope and some one by one plates with clip. And then that all looks like that. And it fits right onto the back here. So we've got basically the center and top of his head. All right, now we're gonna fill out the back of the head. Start with a one by three plate in red. Then you can put a one by one plate of any color on top, not gonna matter. Color doesn't matter. And then a Erling brick in red, one on each side. And this is a curvy upward slope one by two. If you've got one of those, that's great. If not, this could be a one by two plate and a one by one plate. Erling brick over here. And then on this Erling brick, we're gonna do a one by one plate with clip on top, like so. And then on each side, we're gonna take a one by one plate with clip going out and clip on top and build those up. We need lots of clip connections on Knuckles' head for his dreads, head dreads. All right, so once you've got that whole thing built, that fits here in the back of the head. So what you have should look something like this at this point, or exactly like this if you've got the exact pieces. All right, now let's build the eyes and the cheeks. This part really impressed me. So take this one by one plate with round clip, then put a one by one red plate going that way, one by one white plate going this way, one of our favorite eye tiles, then a one by two curvy downward slope in tan, and then this all fits into the back of that Erling brick there. So it's really amazing how many clip connections uh, Mark was able to get in this small space here um, where we'll be attaching the dreads in the next step and that it also worked to connect the eye in a way that we didn't need to use a Travis brick was an extra bonus and reversing the direction with one of those plates with clip uh, really clever stuff. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side red one by one plate with round clip one by one red plate one by one white plate eye tile, and then a one by two tan curvy downward slope, and connect that into the Erling brick. And you're gonna wanna bend um, them towards the nose, in my opinion. I think that kinda looks the best because they uh, can fly out a little bit and then you have kinda gaps in his face. But if you bend them in, it doesn't look, the gaps aren't super noticeable. So yeah, I think the face looks really great. Really great way of getting all the details in in a pretty small space, looking great. So at this point, you can go ahead and attach Knuckles' head to his body. And then we're gonna fill in all of these clip connections with some spikes to give him dreadlocks. So there's basically four different lengths of spikes that you can find in red pretty easily. Short ones, uh, these more curvy ones, the longer straight ones and the very long curvy ones. I went with these medium straight ones, uh, using nine of them to fill in all around the edge. These curvy ones could work too if you've got some of them, they're about the right length. These are fun, they're a little bit long, uh, just gives them kind of super long dreads and this is kind of like haircut. But depending on what you've got, you might wanna mix and match spikes um, to kind of fill in the dreads as you can, but I think these long, straightish, medium spikes uh, work really well, uh, well proportioned to his head and his body, I think, in terms of the length of his dreads in game and in uh, official art of Knuckles. So yeah, just clip them all in uh, since we've already made all those clip connections ready. So yeah, there you have it, Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. I think his overall shaping and uh, coloring looks great. He's definitely ready to go bust some walls or grab the Master Emerald, uh, defend his island, Angel Island, his home. 
and he looks very much at home with my other double fig Sonic characters, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow. Um, nice group of characters. I'm going to be doing a poll on my community tab this weekend to ask which Sonic the Hedgehog character you would like me to build next. Um, the community polls have been really great because it's a really great way to get lots of votes and feedback. Much easier than counting comments, which I used to do in the past. Um, so yeah, so I'll have five options going up this weekend. Let me know which of those Sonic characters you want to see me build next, um, and I'll put it on the list. Hey dude, get out of my way, I gotta stop Dr. Robotnik. No man, I gotta stop him. I'm the hero. No, I'm the hero. Well, I'm gonna take your emeralds. That's my reenactment of the beginning of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And uh, Sonic and Knuckles later. Hey, you're in my way, boom. Yeah, now I can go to the Death Egg. Oh, I lament ever supporting Dr. Robotnik, but I only did it because he tricked me. Now I'm your friend forever. Woo! Our weird history of kind of being enemies, but now we're friends. Boop. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Brick101, and check out all my other video game character builds.